know it's been a while since we've had a chore log. In episode 3, or chore log 3, uh, we were planting and spraying all of our crops here. So today in chore log 4, we're going to be harvesting, and that means we're going to have to buy us a new harvester. Um, I'm going to buy the, uh, the biggest one there that came in the DLC pack, the uh, International, or the Case, rather. And so we're going to um, start out with that. But first, I've got to check on the chickens and put some fuel in the truck here. Lots of things to get done today. It's been about a month since Chore Log 3. I didn't intend to go that long, but uh, we've had all kinds of things coming up in here. Or around here, I should say. And um, some computer issues also. I had to get cleared up last week and we're getting ready for the new computer builds uh, actually this month here in a few weeks. And so it's just been kind of crazy and I've been covering some of the other games and uh, you can hear about what I've been doing with the PCs here uh, lately or hear my rant in my last uh, driver log for Euro Truck Simulator at about 20 minutes in I didn't talk about it in there basically had uh, my Corsair pump uh, die on me and I had to get a replacement so anyway we're back we did the uh, titanium coverage of the uh, uh, you know titanium DLC uh, about two weeks ago just kind of a run through to show what that map looks like You guys didn't catch that, make sure you do. There we go. And uh I think everything else is okay for now. Let's see, the cows are good. The sheep are good. I need to get more grass cut. But my, well, actually, my fields did uh, just get done, so they just need to be cut. I don't know if I'll get to it today. And what else? Uh, let's see, water. Yeah, I think their water will be okay for a little bit. I'm going to dump the rest of this here. They sure do go through it quite fast, so... That again, uh, the water and the wheat each get 5%, so you get 10% more uh, productivity for the eggs. And the sheep, uh, just having the water gives you 10%. And the cows, the same thing, 10% more milk, 10% more wool for the sheep. Gotta get all that early morning stuff done. Oh, and uh, the other big important thing. We need to get to the wool pallet uh, area. Um, I sped forward two days so I could get these crops to grow. I got it set on slow. I kind of like to keep it that way. I don't like it when you plant them and they're already sprouting up behind you. But uh, during that two days, you know, the, uh, the wool pallet spawner there really started getting filled up. I think I've got 15 out of 16. You can make it as big as you want it. But I just went the length of the shed and uh, it turned, whoop, turned out to be 16. So we've got to get in here and haul some wool to the textile mill. Get paid. Kind of slow getting her going backwards, but what I'm gonna do here is swing over. Put 
Uh, you know what would be even more clever? I don't think we can swing this, but... Go through this gate and uh, turn around in here. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Good thing it's not Euro Truck Simulator. We would have gotten docked for all that. Alright. Open up. I could have just filled up right here. Okay, so... Now we should be able to load, uh... All these... All these here. And, uh, we can speed up time just a little bit, and... I got room for one more, so... I showed this in, uh... I, I don't remember if it was Torlog 2, I think, or... But anyway, you guys can see it. Um, and let's go ahead and speed up our time for a minute here. Oh, we got a auction on field 11. It's gonna be, I think, a potato field there. Jump into the map for a second here. Yeah, it's over here. We're gonna definitely bid on that one. I'm gonna have to port park my uh, ATV over there so that I can get on that auction right when it ends. Which will be at 10 p.m., so we got a while. So that's how that works. Once it fills up, it's time for the next one to come in. It moves them down and starts another pallet. And now uh, if we sat here long enough, which would be, you know, at this rate with 400 sheep, uh, later today sometime, if we let it sit like that, now that it's at the end of the uh, line, it would give me a text across the screen and an alert that tells me the wool pallet spawner is now full. So, that's just from two days when I was letting the crops grow and I, you know, sped up time and walked away and I was doing a few other things, but it just filled up and I didn't have to sit here and babysit this. And uh, that's quite a bit of wool. So it's a must-have mod, and uh, as I've stated many times before, and I have it always in the description, all my mods come from only two places the actual farm simulator website and the mods tab and the other place is always uh... normally uh... fsuk i know there's some other good mod sites but since uh... 2011 i the uh... farm sim 2011 i don't mess with any other mod sites anymore too much uh, junk that doesn't work and uh... doesn't work in multiplayer i shouldn't call it junk people work very hard on it but you know, some of that stuff can really corrupt your game, and it's just full of bugs and problems, and I just don't have the time of day for that. Apparently the people that make it don't care, so... Whoop. That's why I went up against a, uh, a wall with my conveyor like that. That way I could still grab them if I slid them. Um, you can make this thing as big as you want. Each each, uh, it's a bunch of tiles that you basically, you know, put together, uh, so you can make it any shape. I could make it go down like it did here, and then, uh, it could, uh, stop at the end, and then the next pallet, it could come out to a new layer, another new layer, and you could just have this whole shed front to back filled if you wanted to buy, you know, 20,000 sheep, and if you were able to feed them, um, you could just have this thing, and, and you know, doing as much as you want. You could have it outside and uh, make it a mile long, I guess. There's no end in sight, so I don't want to get that carried away. I figured go the length of the uh, shed here, and I got a nice cement wall to back up on and push up against, rather, and I have to probably stretch my arm out a little bit. I think, um, oh. all right, hopefully they all go smooth like that. Um, this is a four-wheel steer model. It's also a mod, and it's pretty slick. I definitely uh, recommend it over the original. 
that turn in it. It's also four wheel drive. And I have used this thing to get other vehicles unstuck in. Without that four wheel drive, I don't think I would pull it off. Okay. I don't know what happens if you were to pluck uh, a pallet from the middle, if it will leave the ones on the end and then slide them all down. I, I really don't know. Um, but I just figured best uh, practice would be to, you know, start at the end there and that way we're not in the middle of doing crops and then get called back here. This is my new bale trailer. I believe it's also a mod. Uh, it's bigger than the other blue one that we had part of the game, so I think I'm going to get at least four or more, or maybe six more uh, pallets on there. I forget how many the other one did. I think it was eight or ten. This one I figure, I don't know, 12, 14, something like that. We'll find out. It's bigger. That's all that matters. Got to be careful with these uh, pallets. If you start slinging them around, they'll act all crazy, but so far so good. on there. Yeah, that four wheel steering definitely nice in an area like this. I still haven't bought in that field over there yet, but oh that was close. All I want to do is back up and get straight, but otherwise I'm gonna have to bite the bullet on that field and uh Oh boy, and buy it. I'm waiting for it to go on auction. Why am I, why is this thing moving like that? <laughs> Alright. Trying to get to slide down the forks there. Don't look like that's going to happen, so we'll just load her on here. Look at that thing just slid off there like that. Stupid. Whoa! These things will start to get goofy on you if you're not careful. They also make a the transport mod, it's kind of part of this, that uh, if you get that, there's a truck and a trailer, like a semi-truck and a trailer, and uh, if that trailer is put up against, you just back it up along a line like this and it automatically loads all the pallets. I think it's called the professional transport mod, or... If you go on to FSUK, I don't think they have it on there yet, but they have this mod for the pallet spawner, and that gentleman, I believe, gives the link uh, for that professional transport, and that one you do end up going out to some other random website to get get it from. Now what in the world is this thing glitching through there like that? That pallet on the end there is just acting crazy. Oh, and there's our first spill. Saved. If this trailer doesn't work well for this, I mean, we might have to go to, uh, you know, something else. Kind of stinks that that pallet keeps acting all weird on the end there. This one won't come off. Definitely thinking about that professional transport mod. I like being able to load pallets and stuff, but the physics just aren't there for that kind of thing. These things act like styrofoam. And yet they are heavy because they make the. F if you got the arm out too far, it'll make you real light in the back end. I wish I could get a uh, better stacking than that, but 
not really 100% my fault either because uh, I'm putting them on there and they're kind of sliding on their own. Let me get straight on here. Alright, I'm pretty much going to call this trailer a fail. <laughs> Um, we've got pallets that are flipping by themselves and they're kinda sliding around. This one back here, without even touching it, it glitched itself right through the, uh, the back gate. And we've got some pallets over here that are just like sliding off. This thing was over here and it just flipped over and slid down, so... This trailer probably is very good for its intended purpose, which is hauling, uh, bales of hay and whatnot. I have no doubt in that. But... <clears throat> um, these pallets just are, I mean, they're the biggest pain in the neck in, in this whole game in the first place. This physics are just, uh, are just not there, so. I want to try to fix this, because I think it's going to keep, see how it's just going right through? And there she goes. That's going to be a problem. So, we're going to have to come up with something different. Um, I wanted to be able to haul more. And I know in that original trailer I had the blue one, they stacked pretty nice. They looked, you know, professional. This is just a mess. I'm going to haul this and see if I can make it there. Definitely wanted to take more, but yeah, there she goes. Golly, and then it flips over. What a mess. I believe... Um... Yeah, unlock. And that that lock bales, I believe it only uh, applies to, to bales. I don't think it locks everything on the trailer. And like I said, I think this trailer is very nice from what I've seen and the bales, but can't use it too much for the wool. going off the back there too. I'm gonna try something first. I'm trying to just push it over there. Otherwise we'll have to grab the forklift from the cow yard and come over and pick it up. Probably hit it here. This might work. We got a fence on one side. Oh yeah. Perfect. I'll just pull up here. Need a little room to get out. Grab the other pallet. Yeah, this isn't uh, turning out so well as I planned. Would have been nice if I could have stacked them on there. We would have gotten quite a few. If the mill was closer, I'd probably just haul them over with this thing, but... At one point when I was modding this, I thought about changing that, and, and uh, just, just... don't want to do that many changes to this map, but... One of the things that's pretty popular amongst many is to... Um, put the all the animal yards close to each other, and I do agree that would be nice. Uh, I think for the sake of the gameplay, they wanted us to have to drive around a lot. Otherwise, it might have gotten boring or something. Come on. wish it would get on there. Alright, let's try her again. Alright, well after a long uh, 
process here and some really crazy uh, pallets, <clears throat> it's pretty much uh, a guaranteed thing that this is not going to work as our pallet trailer. I do like how you can lock bales, so I'll probably be definitely keeping it for that, because I know it works well. Um, I can't get any of these pallets to come off, though. I never had this problem with the uh, original trailer, and it could be something to do with this, uh, this vehicle, too. And that one there couldn't get off for the life of me, so I ended up using the back of the truck box to pick it off. If you lay them down like this, they're just going to fall off. So this is a no-go. It would have been a lot easier just to do two loads with the other trailer that stacked about eight or ten. Oh, man. I cannot get this thing to come off. Just won't. <laughs> it's absolutely stuck. It's weird because I've had some of them that are fine. And this one is kind of messed up on there. We're going to try to hook it straight on as we can. And then try to try it again. And I know sometimes it's because it's on there all goofy that it gets like that. But I've had several times where it couldn't be no more perfect and it just won't come off. And this one here is hanging off this edge. It's not even on there. Alright, that is a crappy, crappy looking job, but we're going to take it and get them to the textile mill and probably come up with maybe the fifth wheel or something next time. Something that I can lock any any object. I don't know if it'll work on wool pallets, but we'll find out. Or else I'll just go back to the, the blue one. Oh, that's right. We got a load in there now. It's going to be goofy. Alright. Uh, let's hit. Should be able to... Oh, can't change it there. Alright. Oh. Obviously, uh, I, I tried to lock it, but it really don't matter. We're going to lose that one. Oh, boy. This corner. Oh, wow, and that one fell off. <laughs> yeah, you guys are probably going to see me with that professional transport mod, because hauling uh, pallets is probably the most miserable thing in, in <laughs> this game that I can think of. Just miserable. They don't. They have a lot of weight, but they don't act like it. They act like they're just styrofoam. And, and I mean, anybody that's played this game knows full well what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get off those rocks. Oh, I am gonna lose it. I didn't want to have to put anything in the back of this truck because it messes up your third-person view really bad. Uh, hitting that. Well, I'm about to just gun it and whatever gets there, gets there. Maybe not. We'll go back and make sure and... Uh, this truck is really difficult driving when you're in third person as we because it jumps around so much. It's not really glued to the ground. I don't... It seems like the gravity... Oh, we lost one there. It seems like the gravity is fine, but... I don't know what it is. Oh, just like that. 
I'll leave this trailer here for now and probably come back and get her later. Have to come up with something else. I've got that fifth wheel that's sitting back at the other farmyard that I'll probably bring up here. I'm gonna go ahead and move these last uh, couple pallets and uh, then we'll be back. Alright, we're coming back into the sheep yard after finishing that miserable job. <laughs> I'll have to make some changes, do a little testing, and uh, come up with something better. Um, and it's not that I've never hauled pallets, trust me, I've hauled many, many pallets over the past year. But um, that was the, the first time that I've ever used uh, this modded, uh, whatever it's called, AgriVector. Um, anyway, it's the first time that I used the modded one here, and I don't know if it's got anything to do with that. Um, the forks, I believe, yeah, they're the same. It's just a different egg vector, so. It's the first time I've used it, and it's the first time I've tried to use this trailer, which does lock bales, but not, not pallets, so. I don't know if the fifth wheel trailer does it, that I got, but. We'll, uh. Give her a try and find out. Time to get the harvest on. Hopefully, we can get some money in those silos. If we make it back alive. Alright, coming into town here. I've already got my old combine sitting here ready to be sold with the uh, corn header. So. That'll be exciting. Get something brand new. Probably go ahead and back this up. This one worked pretty well, but the bin is only like 9,000, and this is not as cool as the, the new stuff. The header, uh, the corn header is the same, like 7.2 or something. Whoops. Let's try that again. Um, but. This was also like 7.2 or 7 or something like that. And the new one has a 10 or a 13. I'm going to go all the way big for right now. So, got all of our junk packed in there. Jump in here and try to get top dollar. 189 we're going to get for that. That'll help. And... That one. Alright. Let's jump in and buy our new equipment. It's not a tractor though. There we go. So what we had was this one right here. And 9,000 uh, was a tank capacity for grain. And that was 7.2 like I said. And 7.2. So the new one there's this guy here, but I'm going to jump right for the, the big one. And uh, since they're the same thing, basically, just the difference between dual tires and the tracks, uh, I'm just going to go with this one for right now. And to look at something different in the future, I know I'll probably have two or a couple, several. We'll go ahead and purchase one of those at that time. But for now, we'll start out with this one. Um, this is your corn header. And that is 7.2, and then you've got the two cutters for uh, the wheat and barley and canola. Um, this one was the 10.5, and, and then you had the big guy here at 13.7, which I don't know if it folds, but I don't think so. I don't see how that would work, so <laughs> it might be kind of a challenge getting around. That's where that 10 would probably come more in handy, but... We're going to make her work. There's some trailers out there. I have one even that it, this might mount on, but uh, I don't know if this can tow, tow a trailer. We'll have to find out. Probably won't check it out right now, but um, let's start out with the machine first. There's that. And we're going to need this right away, so... I wish it was a bigger corn header, but at least the tank capacity is... 12,330. Great for the big daddy here. Barely going to have enough money for this whole thing. Crazy. Now we're out of money. All this spending. But look at that. What a beast. 
That thing is... And I like how that's the boom is uh, longer and extended, so it'll really reach out, which is what you need when you're running a... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. I didn't even know that. So we got a trailer for it. Cool. Well, how handy is that? Now we can tow them both back. I like that. Well, it makes sense. There's our little hitch. I like this thing already. Probably should have put our other header on, but. Yeah, you gotta have that longer boom when, you're, when you have the long header on there, otherwise the trailer and the towing, the vehicle towing it next to you gets, uh, starts running into it. This thing is like a, it's like the size of a building. Okay. That, that thing goes into the ground, I guess, is the problem, but for now, I'm just going to run this in here and drop it off. We'll be back for it. Go back out and hook up and head to the first field. All right, we made it down to our uh, first field here, and I unhooked it, and I thought I had a... When I was lifting up the trailer, I didn't notice that uh, its wheels are built in, and when you press X, everything folds up. It's pretty cool. Very handy. i never seen that like that before. Something else I just discovered, too, is when I press the mouse buttons, I can lift up the uh, cutter thing like this, and I, I guess I have no idea why, uh, but uh, I'm going to leave her down right now, and... What else do we find? Oh, we can lower it down. Whoop! That's not the right way to lower it down. There we go. We gotta switch to our... Back into our vehicle here and we press B to get her going. Everything kind of folded out here. I guess we're ready to go. Got a lot more controls than the other. Notice that we have our chopper on the top of it. Turn that off. Mix it. Mix some hay bales later on. Sure does drive nice. Wide swap. I just gotta get my uh, truck and trailer down here. Right, well, we'll get the worker started on this one. Good though. I like having a wider head like that so that you have less rows of uh, hay to go through. Very detailed. Things going to be filled up in no time. Better go ahead and get our trailer down here. I think we're going to go ahead and spoil ourselves. I don't usually uh, borrow too much from the bank, but uh, let's go ahead and... Let's borrow a bunch of money here. So 135 is what we need. I guess I borrowed a little bit extra, but uh, anyway. So, 
go ahead and check this out too. That's pretty cool. I have that modded uh, truck that works real well, but I figured we could go ahead and try out uh, what we have here. <laughs> the lizard farm. So, anyway, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Here's the interior. Sounds good. Looks good. Hopefully it drives good. Looks like it's got good speed. it here for a second. I like that. I'm glad that they finally added a truck to that. It's pretty, pretty important on the farm there. I think I'll probably end up holding on to this thing, uh, but for now, we'll just be lazy and let it sit right there. Probably keep it because it wasn't didn't really cost that much, and I don't know if end up adding more trailers later on that I want to pull around with the tractor or something come in handy. I think there's a few mods that can use it too. Ever since day one I saw this trailer I thought we just need a semi to hook up to that and now we got one so that's good. Let's get down and uh, I'm sure our hired worker is waiting on us. Get it up to 50, that's pretty good. We'll take it. Hopefully when you got her full of uh, grain it stays up around 50 because that'll help, you know, transporting. Kind of like Euro trucks in but without the, uh, without the mirrors <laughs> being able to see. Man, didn't even make it to the end. Now you can see why the boom is so long there. Well, we had to borrow money from the bank, but we're going to make quite a bit on this load, and we'll be able to get it paid back pretty quick. Both of these are part of the Titanium DLC, so if you haven't picked it up, probably should. Well worth it. Looks up pretty good too. They have a grain bin that they did as part of the DLC also. Uh, I might end up picking that one up too just to uh, hook onto a tractor and Maybe let Aiden pull that around so he can help. One of the things I forgot to do is I can open up the throttle on this uh, the combine as well. Thing's really gonna be waiting on us. <laughs> if we get our, Whoop. come on, 
A little bit slow taking off there. Get our speed on this set right. So we got filled up here, and I jumped out and got some reinforcements. We're going to go drop this load here, and I'm going to let the combine just sit there for a, for a minute, because it's going to take us, take us a few to get this going here. Let's see how this thing hill climbs. my little helper over there waiting for me. <laughs> you see me? Yeah, I do. Alright, I'm gonna bring you back, uh, I'll bring you back this truck, okay? Okay. Let me go dump this and then I'll bring you the truck. We're gonna buy another trailer and uh, that way we can really get to haul in here. Then Yeah, I don't think this one has two seats. We could find out real quick, but I bet you it doesn't. You need if it did. Hey, I need to if that seat down there is you know, we're going to have to find out. Alright, yeah, we'll buy. What I am going to do is buy another one of these trailers, and uh, we'll use the uh, that attachment we have with the dual wheels. Just pull it with the 720 for for right now. Um, we're about 112,000 in the hole here, so I've gone ahead and borrowed. I haven't borrowed it yet, but I'll be borrowing. That'll put us 112 in the hole. Yeah, you can try. I bet you it probably doesn't. Always does it. Yeah, nothing. All right. I'm going to pull it down to the road here for you, and, um, and you can drive the big rig. Big rig. The big rig. We're just going to park it here in the middle of the road for right now. Just wait a second. Uh, okay. I'm at least right by it. Yeah. I'm going to go. Alright. Oh yeah, these people do look kind of funny when they walk around, don't they? Yes. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to bring a tractor over here. Whoa! Whoa! Alright. Let's grab the... I forget what this thing's called here, but it's basically like a tandem axle for that trailer. I'd love to buy another semi, but we're not going to have the funds for that. Plus, if I sold all my grain, but I'm waiting for the prices to go up a little bit. So we'll bring this over. Hook up another trailer. Alright, we are ready to go with our new trailer here. Okay. And I've uh, borrowed the maximum amount of money here at 200000 so we're 112 in the hole. Even more than that now. Um, yeah, we owe a lot of money. Let's forget, there we go, 160 now. So, 
we're gonna have to definitely get selling some some grain here. Which one do you want to drive? You want to drive the tractor or the truck? Truck. All right, jump in that truck then. I'm in it. Follow me. Yeah, you're driving a pretty long truck, so don't be cutting corners too close. You gotta swing wide, okay? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Bam. Cheat there? Okay. Well, let's get this guy back working again. And, uh, let's see. Yeah. I'm still not used to that. But. Let's get the combine rolling here. And you want to try and pull it up? Go ahead and uh, run down the field and then this thing will put the boom out. Hey, you gotta get closer, okay? Go in the third person. Let's see if you can do it. Yep. Pull right up there. He's gonna turn on you. Go in the third person. Third person. Third person. There you go. Come on. You gotta pull your bin right up underneath there.
problem I've seen with this semi is it's, uh, it has an incredibly slow, uh, it just doesn't get going very fast. So when you get up to it in the front like that, you press forward and fall behind. You're hitting it. What are you doing? Right there. Yeah. Kind of got in the way there. You have to steer out. You don't want to ever hit this. It'll get all off uh, track there. Now you should be good going down this last stretch. So if you want to go to the other end of the field and wait for him. Go to the other end of the field that we're working in. Yep. There you go. Go all the way down to the other end and we can wait for him. Hurry up. Yeah, truck pretty much, uh, once you put the gas down, it takes it about five seconds before it moves. Just go down all the way to the other end, just drive right down the road. There you go. Oh, I I know, it's got a lot of neat ladders, don't it? Wait for him. Sure. Just wait in your truck. Don't don't move it yet. Okay, you gonna drive that one? Yeah. All right. I'll uh, break out another mod here if I can remember how to do it. Let's see, just step, just stop. Just wait. Don't move anything. Okay. And that's the one. Control F. We'll do the follow me mod. This is a really slick mod. It's the follow me mod. Again, you can. I don't think it's on the main uh, Farm Simulator website, but you can definitely get it on FSUK. And uh, let's see. We gotta close that. Hopefully, we'll fit up here. Basically, you can tell any number of vehicles to follow you. Very handy. I haven't used it yet. I've had it for a long time. It came out like I don't know, like December or something. It's been out for a long time. But um, you can see this AI driver is just going to follow me here. Very handy when you're cutting hay to have them uh, have one with the trailer follow you. This might not work out so well for me here. Oh boy. All right. Note to self: next time, definitely better. Uh, Yep. Next time we better unhook uh, the uh, header and put it on the trailer. So yeah, you can get quite a convoy going and it's real handy when you want AI to follow you, like I said, for hay or anything you're doing. You can even program them to drive offset to one side or the other and I think... I think you could get them to uh, drive the, the bin next to you if you wanted to run the combine, but I don't really get into doing too much of that. So let's just wait a minute here, and now I've got to go back and tell them, don't follow me no more. And you can actually tell them to stop, there's a command for that too, but uh, we're not going to use that right now anymore for a few minutes, so. Yep. Alright, you can just uh, sit there for a minute, we're going to get this guy working here. Get up there this time. Pull up uh, next to him. Yeah, don't don't push forward until you actually are up to him. Okay. That's why third person is uh, works the best. Why don't you go to third person view? Middle mouse button. You got to push it down. Silly. Yeah, you're really far away, bud. Better back up and get out of his way. He is going to hit you. We're going to have a mess. Oh my goodness. Alright, why don't you just sit there and uh, wait? I think we'll probably only get one, uh, one 
trailer, your gears will probably be full. What are you at? 68%? Alright. Yeah. We'll probably get uh, yours full and part of this one I got here, and then we're going to have to move on to corn. And then you're pretty much, what are you, 87%? Yeah. What does that say? Eight and a two. That's eighty-two percent. It says ten ten oh nine a.m. All right, I'm still working on those numbers. All right, go ahead and go back and dump that trailer, okay? Okay. You know how to do that? You can take care of that. Uh huh. You want to end up in the creek somewhere? Bye. Bye. Well, I'm sure you'll be back again. Yep. Go back to the farmyard and dump your grain. Come back empty. That'll be good. I know, look at all that corn. He's all excited he sees the grown corn. He hasn't been in here since the uh, corn is up. Yep. Don't hit the buildings. Go back and dump your grain. I don't even think he has a CDL yet, so hopefully the police don't catch him driving that semi. <laughs> well, that's good, you're wearing your seatbelt. Make sure you turn wide. Maybe here in the future I'll record, the, record his point of view there. He's doing pretty good, he made her back there and he's about to dump it here. Nope, keep pulling forward. Don't hit the queue yet. Keep going. You gotta go until you see the dump icon. Remember? Keep going forward. That semi just really takes a while to get going. There you go. Now you can hit Q. Good job. Oh, you got that one, don't you? It's like you've done it before. He comes in and plays with... Uh, well, when, I'm, when he's not in here with me, he'll be playing by himself. He'll uh, he'll just sit there and load grain and then unload grain, unload grain, unload grain. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you do. We need a guy right like you around here. That's for sure. Yeah, we've got her in the trees now. Turn your wheel sharp. Put your view inside the cab. Switch to first person, bud. All you're gonna do is keep ramming that tree. Oh my. Hey, yeah, you wouldn't want to drive over your crops like this in RL, but we'll do it in here. I thought I heard something at one time that they were going to uh, implement that where if you drive on your crops you damage them. Might have been a mod, but... Go all the way down that road, yep. Keep, nope, there you go, keep going, you're doing good. I should have said that. Keep, nope, don't go through the corn. Don't do that. Go down that road right there, yep. Here he comes, we'll see him flying down here in a minute. There he is. Don't hit the combine. Holy cow. <laughs> All right. He's got one more pass to, to go there. We're going to keep on trucking here. And why, don't you, why don't you leave yours empty? I got plenty of room in mine. And uh, we're going to... 
probably move down to the other field there. That way we both don't have to dump. I think we'll just maybe go do the wheat next. Yeah. Or the corn. We'll just go hit the corn. I guess it's right next door. Yes. Yeah, pretty soon we're going to move on to doing potatoes and uh, all the other stuff. Okay, why don't you get out of the way? Follow me. Okay, now we've got to switch again. Yep. I'm grabbing the corn header and coming over here. Yeah, it's, it's, that's fine. Just <laughs> sitting in the middle of the cornfield here. Did I see? You know, you get lost in the cornfield. Yeah, I know, you get lost in the cornfield. This thing is going to take it all down, isn't it? Yeah. Fire. Yeah. So this corn header is the same size as the other one. Yeah. But at least the tank's a lot bigger. And this one looks cooler. in that corn. That's not a place you want to be when the combine comes through. Alrighty. Why not? It'll chop you up like a corn stalk. Silly. Alright. So, <laughs> yeah. You want to play peekaboo with the combine? <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's get this thing going here. Got a great view. Chopping corn. But we're not chopping it. We're harvesting it. I am going to be getting a corn chopper pretty soon for the cattle. We're going to be doing a lot of corn chopping. I got to buy that new planter too, but I'm going to wait till we sell some stuff and get some money. I'm going to have to wait. Um, I can't remember, it's several rows, I think it's like four rows bigger. We go ahead and let our work, look at that, crazy. Whoops, let me do that. that corn down pretty good, didn't it? Yeah, Man, that is nice. Uh-huh. Alright, you better go get in your truck. Uh-huh. I'm gonna bring it to you. Because <laughs> if, uh, if my memory serves me right, that corn will be filling up pretty quick. Run down here and I'll get you set up. I just ran my own kid over the semi. <laughs> We're gonna really be able to farm when Austin gets ready to play, huh? Yeah. Yeah. He'll be driving trucks too. Yeah. And we'll have lots of help. Yeah, and you can be a, be a, be a, some of them. That's, uh, of course, gonna be a, a, a proud day for me <laughs> as a father when, when he gets in here too, but that means I gotta build another gaming rig. Alright. Get, get some corn, he's getting pretty full there. When we get to the end here, I'll jump out and let you get in, okay? Yes. I gotta dump this uh, wheat. Can we go? Don't yeah, you can move now, but you probably just best uh, stay out of his way. What I usually like doing, uh, what I'll sit like he does, and I'll be doing other things. And let the combine run down, run back, and then I'll pull up however the distance is. I'm sure you guys do this too. But uh, park it like that so when he comes down you're already in the right place. Now with this combine that's going to be too close. With the old Deutz there that was about right. Uh, but with this one here you probably want to be farther away from the row. And uh, that way you can go do other things for a couple minutes while he's running down and back, down and back, and then he comes back full. And then you move it, and then you go away for a couple minutes, 
and before he gets down back down back you get your stuff goes back so anyway I got wheat and I need to get that out of here because I can't take on corn in the same uh, same trailer so <clears throat> I'm gonna fill up that count or unload that combine just don't get in his way when he comes okay Load. Whoops. Hit my button. Go backwards here. Get her stuck in there. Looks like you're doing good there. Uh -huh. All right. I'm trying to push play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. one? Having I'm two people and uh, a couple tractors with uh, or trucks, whatever, with the uh, trailers on them in the follow me mod is very helpful. Especially if you're by yourself, but when you're running uh, like the big fields and the other side of the maps and things like that, you need to get turned around without running anything over, okay? You need to get yeah. back here. The corn is over here. Corn is out. Yep. You can unload it if you want. Yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll have to... See, he's getting full already here. Up in there, we don't know to come to a stop. Yeah, if you can have a couple tractors with trailers following you out there and you get them full, <laughs> you can uh, do the follow me mod. And it's time to empty them all and run them all back, unload them all, and have them follow you back out there. It, it it's, works pretty well. You gotta have the uh, money to do that though, buy all that equipment. What are you doing? You climbing up the potato chute? Yeah. Is this for all the potatoes? Yeah, it's empty right now, but we're going to be doing some massive potato farming here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. We're going to farm all the crops. It's one of my goals to get all the crops growing and uh, get them in the silos. And chickens. We're pretty good on the chickens and sheep. Uh, but we need to okay. definitely purchase, I'd like to purchase at least a hundred head of cattle. Yeah, you can, you can get the eggs if you want. Okay. That'd be fine. When he grabs those eggs and the number of eggs I got goes up just like that. I got over a thousand eggs. I gotta drop those off. You want to go drive that Unimog? No, no, I, I'm not asking you to drive the Unimog. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. I well, we're just going to continue on with our crops here and uh, get them in the get them in the silos. So Aiden decided that we needed to have a race in the golf carts <laughs> right now. Couldn't wait. Had to happen now. So try to get me, bud, because you're uh, going the wrong way. We're gonna we're gonna do uh, some crazy stunts here, huh? I'm gonna jump yeah. off of this. No. Ooh. Ah. It'd be fun if these golf carts were about two times faster. I don't even know how they all ended up here. I think we were playing around with the trailers. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got a real problem there. This isn't as fun as using the uh, Ford and the Unimog chasing each other in the field. Doing the little, uh... I don't know, I'm not doing anything. I'm not even touching nothing. These things are going crazy. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> I just broke my leg getting in. Oh, man! <laughs> Those things are messed up.
one day we were using the Ford and the Unimog, both uh, four-wheel drive, just all over the mountains, just chasing each other. Ah, uh, you're catching me. Whoever gets rammed in the butt, it's a point lost. Oh my god, I can't catch him. Gotcha. I'm gonna try to get the pit maneuver on him here. Oh! Ah, that's cheating. Hey, you gotta get back in this. <laughs> he doesn't want me to chase him and hit him. Well, they're all jacked up now. Now you're gonna have to get some. Here, I'll get the Ford here. Meanwhile, the Combine is probably sitting there waiting for us. Whoa! You just caused my truck to do a wheelie. You must be really fat. I can't even back up. That is so weird. When he stand, that's so weird. Whenever he's up against the cab, it won't go. That is weird. Yeah, you ain't gonna catch me. Hey, use a tractor. We don't need it. <laughs> I'm trying to get your golf carts stuck here. Look at that. What a champ. Alright. I gotta somebody's gotta get back to work here. Look at that. We're paying uh paying our migrant worker out here to do absolutely nothing right now. Running up the bills in the farm, tractors out of fuel. Everything's going to Hades. Okay. Whoever we inherited the farm from probably isn't too happy with our uh, performance, huh? Thanks. Yeah, anyway, the golf carts, I think, ended up there because we were playing around with the... That little blue trailer, that little flatbed, uh, was the first one that came out on the mod site that you could lock loads down. and We loaded up as much stuff around as we could find in the first week there, I think, the game was out. I think I got a picture of that show it. But, uh, yeah, we were driving around trying to collect everything we could find. Let's see how much we could haul. Alright, we just finished up with all of our corn in the field down there, and then these little two guys up here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and change the header back over after we unload here. barely made it in. Still not used to how far out that thing reaches with the, uh, you know, when you're running a smaller corn header. Really out there a ways. Alright. Put that back in. We can put our header back in the shed. And we've got two fields of wheat straight in front of us, so we're going to go and bust out real quick. Alright, we're running our last run down the field here with our crops for this uh, tour log. Just gotta get everything loaded in here. Head back on. This truck works out pretty well. It's a little bit slow for taking off, but any big truck would be. Um, definitely goes faster than a tractor will. So no complaints here. I think it's about two times faster than that 720X was. Alright, let's go dump this and we can park our truck. I kind of like, after playing all that Euro Truck Sim, I like being in an American style truck with the, the big hood on it. 
bonnet as they call it overseas, over the pond. So we'll run this and drop it. We'll check our inventory here. No sales at the moment. Still not even noon yet. Alright. Got a lot of debt. So we've got 311,000. So we got a lot of wheat. Really put a bunch in there. Holy cow, I'm surprised on that. But we had quite a few fields that uh, we did. And uh, corn, we're at 159, which is even more than what we got for barley right now. So we did uh, both the corn and the wheat. We're at zero. Well, the wheat had like 10,000. So I, I keep some in there for the chickens. But uh, so basically both of them came up from zero. So that's quite a quite a bit. We've got a thousand eggs we got to bring in too. So we'll go ahead and pull this up around here if we can fit it. Ooh, that's going to be tight. <laughs> Oh, that's not going to work. Oh. Now I've done it. Got hung up on the building here. Oh, boy. You can see how, how bad things can go sometimes. Oh no, here we go. This is like parking, uh, parking a truck in the big city. Trying to parallel park here. Kind of push that trailer out a little bit here, so that might be a problem. I think I'm going to end up keeping these in the shed. The only reason why I had the other one sitting out anyway was because, uh, you can't uh, can't really back up that style when you got two pivot points. But uh, nice thing with this semi is that you can. So you'll probably end up backing the trailer in here next time. I still want somebody to make a mod that uh, you get penalized if you leave things sitting outside, like the maintenance is double or something. I talked about that a few episodes ago. But I still think that'd be pretty cool. Oh. You'd have to make a trigger, basically. Can't pick my... Can't pick it up. What's going on here? Alright. That was weird meant to do is put the trailer of the wheels down here. That's pretty slick. The hitch can be a little tricky. But yeah, somebody would have to make a trigger for all the buildings, you know, like certain sheds. And um, when your vehicles are left sitting outside of that trigger, they uh, accrue maintenance costs at a higher rate. Just like if you left your real equipment sitting out for the weather, the rain, sun, all that. Tigers are going to uh, weather check and everything's going to rust. Paint's going to fade. I think that'd be a pretty cool mod. I just don't uh, really have the skills to do that at this point all the time. Hopefully the next farm sim we can have that. I think in the last one they mentioned it uh, about leaving your stuff out or something, but it was all, you know, there was there was no repercussions for doing so. You could leave stuff sit out forever and it never you know, did anything as far as maintenance goes. I don't even remember if we had maintenance cost in that game. I think we did. It's been so long since I played it now. This thing's going to be kind of hard to back in anywhere. Not 
quite sure where I'm going to put it yet. <laughs> Probably just leave it out back here. If I can get it tucked in there. We'll figure out a different place here eventually. But anyway, there's been a lot of work getting all these chores done, but we've got some crops we can sell. I'll probably wait and uh, clean up my fields and get sprayed and everything ready for planting again uh, while I'm waiting for um, waiting for some good sales. Just in case if you're wondering, Aiden had to go off and get some shut-eye. So I told him that Daddy would finish up the work around here. But uh, anyway, we'll get uh, we'll get a bunch of uh, crops planted. We're gonna we're gonna get these barrels. I like to get them all around a million and just start selling them off so we can really get our monies up. And that way uh, we can start buying a bunch of equipment. I want to invest in uh, in the equipment that's needed for doing cattle, and I also want to invest in uh, all the equipment that's needed to do potatoes and uh, sugar beets and all that sort of thing. But for now, you know, I was going to go park my truck down there, but I think we'll take the ATV since he left to sit here. I'm going to go put this down on field 11 so that at 9.59 p.m. Whoa. I haven't drove that in a while. Uh, 9.59 uh, p.m. I can put the, the bid. I don't ever bid on fields until then because you just, you know, you bid it up. I wait till the last minute and uh, put in for a thousand over. I usually save my game right before that. Wait till like 9.58. Save the game. Speed up the time, 9:59. Put my bid in, and then at uh, 10 p.m., I'll you, you know usually always win. Find that field here. I think it was right, right over here, field 11. They always put an icon. But yeah, I'll just leave the ATV sitting next to it, so when I need to, I'll just zip over here and take care of business. Pull that forward, and might as well check the price on it. And uh, what the auctions do is give you half off, uh, roughly, you know, usually. This will probably go for around, I'm, I'm guessing, maybe like 35 something like that. And, uh, you know, you could bid. If I bid right now, it would already be at 34.4. So a couple people will probably put bids in. It, it might be closer to 37, 38, maybe even 40, but it, it, they won't go up too much. And you'll get it, usually get it for about half price, which... Uh, means we're going to basically be 200 in the hold of the bank and uh, we'll be basically sitting zero in our account but we've got a lot of crops to sell so I do have some uh, some assets that I can get rid of but um, we put the bigger shed down here so I'm going to fill this up with all the equipment needed to do you know sugar beets and I'm just going to keep planting I, I, I'm thinking it's going to be sugar beets over here um, I, I don't know why I kind of think I'm going to, I don't know, like doing a lot of potatoes. And uh, I'm thinking for the potatoes that we might uh, go over to the other side here and do field 18, 19, and all these right in here. Um, I do believe I, yeah, I made this field bigger. It's a big square. I don't, you know, kind of looks jaggedy on the edges there. But I also stretched this field out here. It used to come right here, and I stretched that one, and I stretched this one here. And uh, at one time I almost was going to combine these, but I have a road going through that I made here, and uh, I don't know, I just, for whatever reason, decided to leave them, but I thought about it one time just combining them. But uh, then I'd have to start moving the mountain out, and it would get to be a pain. And I don't think I'll use this one for potato, but it is there. I might, you know, use something like this, but I'm thinking kind of potato over here maybe. And uh, these fields here I haven't quite decided, but I'm thinking sugar beet. And uh, these are just going to be general crops, maybe like uh, canola or something like that. Uh, this field here, you know, goes down right here. And uh, all the stuff is gone. And then I basically squared this field off like this, so it's a big square. And then I got rid of the buildings here. 
and this field starts right here and goes all the way down so it's a really big long field and uh, we're going to get to farming those but we need to definitely get more equipment to do so so we'll leave our ATV down there and uh, head back to the farmyard this is the last thing here that I wanted to do uh, I'm going to take care of uh, I won't do it right now but next before I put corn in this is a I guess an eight row got four on each side here for the corn and the sugar beets um, I might, I haven't decided, I might keep this for the sugar beets since those fields are kind of small and I can just let a tractor uh, go nuts down there with it. But uh, I am definitely for the corn because I do that in bigger fields and I'm going to have a lot of corn to do not only keep it in the silo but for uh, feeding cattle and just, uh, you know, all the other things that we're going to do with it for chopping it and things like that, silage. So I'm going to get that other one. I think that one was a 12 row. It's got uh, two more on each. And um, we're going to buy that here before we put more corn down. So I'm going to have to get some money for that too. Let's go over and sell our thousand eggs real quick and I think we'll wrap it up there. We'll find out how much a thousand eggs are worth. Before Aiden got out he went in and collected all the eggs for me so there's probably a few more down there but... Pretty soon I won't have to even drive down here. I gotta get a bobcat over to the the mill over there where you can also sell eggs. Uh, in, uh, mainly putting it there for the uh, pallets. I've got the little shed back there and everything. Whoop! Driving past it here. All right. Um, so yeah, I'll have something there for hauling pallets at that mill, and I'll be able to. What the hell am I all turned around here for? Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Boy, I'm way off. I've been delivering them over at the other place there. Here it is. I used to park the ATV right here a long time ago, but anyway, we'll have something for hauling pallets, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and I'll be able to jump out of that and run around the corner and sell the eggs. So we'll have that done probably next time, too. Anyway, we got 36211. Wow, 1,000 eggs worth about 12,000. It's pretty good. I didn't think it was going to be that high. I don't think I've ever sold that many eggs because uh, I didn't have that many chickens at one time and frankly I did not enjoy running around there uh, the chicken pen area collecting 57 eggs it was kind of a weird number and now I've made um, all of the eggs uh, about 50 each go in uh, each coop I thought about adding another coop and maybe two more and and uh, put more eggs but uh, probably won't mess with that Unless if I do another map at it, which which might happen. I'm really happy with this map right now, but well, we're gonna wrap this one up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to uh, you know comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll keep these things going. Next time, I think we'll probably be doing a bunch of hay and starting to maybe feed some animals. Uh, Got to get that whole thing going here. So. A lot of work done today. I appreciate you guys stopping by. And until next time, we'll see you then.